BPS or Gravitas is a new branch of the BPS family, captained by Zerd, who is well known for being an influential caller. He and a big part of the BPS team were in Aqua, which finished second in both Blitz Premier Cup and, more importantly, winter season this year. The average age of the members is around 21 years old. They come from different countries, including Sweden, Spain, Ukraine, Italy, Germany, the United States of America, Czech Republic, and Finland. Most of them are students. This season, they expect a top two finish. They do not put in a lot of effort to initial strats, and their main plan is to react to what the other team is doing. This is what you should be expecting from BPS in professional tournament. Look no further than the light or medium tank, as it will be the messenger for the team. The other teams will try their best not to give away too much of their positions and game plan, but BPS has proven to be able to work with limited information and sometimes make gambles. Gambling will only be more successful with experience, so the wealth of Clan Wars knowledge from the members will be the difference. Let's set up high, shall we? Uh, Gravitas team, blue team north spawn against end game um, red team south spawn. And end game is going to commit to A potentially and uh, and also to C. Meanwhile, Gravitas team is on it's on the south uh, north spawn going mostly to A and B. Clay are going for B very very quickly, and that would hand Gravitas team the cap lead. Rob could go for C. Puts a good shell into Kuma from north. He's trying to run away before we can take more damage, um, but. Bravatar is going to get B without any trouble at all. Endgame will be the one that needs to make the rotation. Um, they have so far around 2k hit point advantage. That is very, very healthy here. Ooh, Casayo Jones receiving a big, big hit right there down in the middle. Not part of the game plan, I would say, but that is really, really grim for BPS right now. They're trying to pressure Endgame. Uh, although I don't know why, because they do not have the hit point pool lead, uh, but they have the cap lead. They probably think that Toby is isolated, but uh, very quickly, Gaseo Jones is going to be isolated. So end game, I'm not sure, BPS might be able to get something out of this. But the hit points are still solely, firmly in favor of a, a BPS. And Toby is finally down, but it's now 6 for 6 with BPS a lot more hit points. Cleo going into the um, endgame's forces um, <laughs> without any mercy at all. They, he wants to get Winchley out of this game. And Ghosty is now really low. He's now killed. And they're trying to kill off Winchley. Winchley is trying to get out of this situation. But next year, Shelf and Player will do the job. Hit points are still in favor of Endgame. And the next time they want to go for would be Kami or with a good ram from last AFK into Kami. Prime is now really, really low. Endgame is really dominating here. And uh, Hollow Purple is now killed by Evil Fantasy. It's now 4 versus 5. Actually, it's not truly over yet for Endgame. They could still lose. If they cannot put their shells in with last AFK with that terrible bounce, oh my goodness me, 3 versus 4 suddenly. Gravitas team seems to be um, doing, uh, seems to be winning this one. But with last AFK, he needs to put a shell into Primal Protons. And Primal Protons staying back. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Endgame is in deep trouble. Last AFK now down 2 versus 4. Endgame. Oh my gosh, this is a turnaround we're seeing. I have no idea how they managed to do it, but BPS will be looking to kill Chocolate and he got killed. And it's now 1 versus 4, end game. Despite leading by 3k, I think Gravitas team, that gamble worked really well. I was really doubting whether that would work, but it seems. It really worked with Endgame really letting the guard down with uh, the lack of focus fire. And Gravitas team really focusing the low hit point target first. And really rotating out the low hit points. 
and it's going to be 1-1 for both teams. End game. Only two tanks doing more than 2k. But Ravitar's team, three, uh, five tanks doing more than 2k, held their breath and they did not fluster. Well done to Gravitas team. Thank you all for watching this video. If you want to know more about the clans in the professionals tournament, make sure to check the playlist below and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.